Greetings from the Bellagio Conservatory in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today is Friday, February 9th, 2024. This is about 9.28 p.m. Pacific Time. The Bellagio Conservatory always rotates these beautiful exhibits and currently they have the Lunar New Year going on. It started January 13th and will end March 2nd. Then they'll take a week off and move to their spring exhibit. But for the Lunar New Year, the theme is called Infinite Prosperity, the Year of the Dragon. So let's go ahead and do a run through. It's always very popular, so you're sometimes you're gonna get some tight quarters. A lot of people like to take uh, pictures on the bridge, so sometimes it's difficult to walk through there. So let's go ahead and start over here on the right side. I've been to a lot of the exhibits that the conservatory has had over the years. A lot of times when I have a quick layover, I'll just, if I know I have like one thing to do or see on the strip, I'll run over here and check out the unique design because, you know, they change it four or five times a year. And you can read the signs that they have up throughout it, like a burst of vibrant pink and white flowers adorn the branches of our majestic cherry blossom trees. Cherry blossoms represent a time of renewal and optimism while reminding us to appreciate life's fragility and transience. So that's what these are supposed to represent, cherry blossoms. My Cleveland viewers will know that we, I love showing those when they bloom around Wade Oval at University Circle by the Art Museum. I feel like I have seen like the gold coins on the tree before, so maybe that's... I'd have to go back to my previous videos and pictures to see if that's like a reuse for a previous like Lunar New Year exhibit. But nonetheless, a lot of this stuff to me is new. Behold the pair of shiny gold money trees showering the ground below in vast riches. Each stunning tree contains 88 gold I Ching coins in honor of the symbolic lucky number eight in Chinese culture. Oh, I didn't even notice that, that the coins were on the ground too. And this says it's Kashin, the revered Chinese god of wealth, smiles majestically upon the abundance of gold coins and visiting admirers all around. The popular deity is said to have the power to grant blessings for wealth and prosperity in your in the year ahead. Brightly festooned children play joyfully amid the rich and festive scene. One holds a lucky coin overhead while the other clutches an orb lantern. Symbols of blessings and prosperity for the new year. So that one has the coin and I think the other one had the orb in its hand. I also see like water coming down. I wonder if uh, water gets like sprayed on the exhibits every so often. Let's see, we do have another sign over here. Radiant red silk ornaments with strings of golden coins grace the sky overhead. The intricately designed medallions at the end of each string pay homage to the year of the dragon. So they're talking about the, those things up there.
This is the garden table. I've never actually seen someone dining in it, but there is a group of people dining in it currently. And of course, that requires like a special reservation. Our stunning replica of the Temple of Six Banyan Trees offers a distinctive dining experience featuring authentic regional dishes from Noodles Pan Asian Restaurant. Originally built in AD 537 in China, today the real structure is a popular destination for international families seeking blessings for their newly adopted children from China. Such intricate details in all these exhibits. Right now we're looking at the back side of the main exhibit. This is the area where if you're ever looking for space, like a breather because it's not crowded, you're typically going to be able to go here and capture a moment of peace, so to speak. This sign here says, specially created to commemorate the Year of the Dragon. Take a moment to breathe in our bespoke holiday scent, Prosperity featuring delicate notes of honeysuckle nectar, lemon, orange, etc. So just talking about the scent that you can gather from these. This corner they always typically have something that's like this, like a almost like a painting. <laughs> A majestic waterfall cascades over mossy rocks into the pond below, a symbol of the new cleansing year. The water used in Bellagio's conservatory comes from on-site underground wells comprising 100% rain and recycled water from the resort. See if you can see what this sign says here. Beautifully detailed bronze ding pots are a traditional fixture in our Lunar New Year exhibit. Used in ancient times for cooking special meals and as offerings of food and wine to the heavens, the ding pots represent gratitude for the prior, prior year and hope for future good fortune in all facets of life. So they're referring to like that and there's a few other ones that were surrounding the area. try to zigzag around where, wherever there's space to look at. Suspended in midair, a stunning array of something cherry blossom sculptures enchant all who behold them. So, I believe they're referring to those cherry blossom sculptures at the top. You can see the dragons moving right now. They move every couple of minutes, I think. Let me go. Over to this side first. Again, another space where it's less of a crowd. The sign here says, Burst of brilliantly colored fireworks and falling gold I Ching coins on the distant screens add depth and vibrance to the larger than life scene. So I believe that's referencing the screens that are actually on the other side. I'm not sure why they have the sign over here. Usually we think they would have it on the opposite end. They've got the dragons there. There's a bridge here with more of the children that are playing.
striking pair of boldly colored lions flank the bridge representing the traditional lion dance performed to bring prosperity and good fortune. Representing connection and unity, a brilliant red wooden structure stretches out over the gentle stream below. Arch bridges are among the oldest types of kind and have great natural strength. see if we can possibly sneak down the middle aisle here or too many people taking pictures. After they take their picture, I'm going to try to run through just to get a one video perspective. There you go, and this is nice too because if you're in the middle here, you get to kind of look at both both areas from a distance. If you enjoyed this video of the Lunar New Year at this year's Bellagio Conservatory, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time.